If you'd like to bring in your video conference audio, your internet browser, your game audio, your voice chat, your music, any type of audio source through your Elgato Wavelength software and your Elgato Wave 3 into OBS, this is the video that shows you how to do it. It's incredibly simple. You can pull in each of these sources individually into OBS, not as a part of your monitor mix, not as a part of your stream mix, these mixes that you see here, you can bring them in directly into OBS through the power of Wavelink software. Here's how you do it. So I've got an example that's already set up here, Spotify, but it can be any other type of source. It works exactly the same for every single type of source you bring in. Video conference, games, browsers, music, voice chat, it's all exactly the same. When you add a channel here in your software, here in your Wavelink software, and you set it up, and I've got a whole tutorial video series on that, you're going to select a certain type of input, right? When you click the plus button here in the software, you're gonna choose your audio input. You're gonna remember what that audio input was that you selected, and you're gonna obviously route that through Windows. I've got a whole six video series on how to do this, cool? So you remembered what it was, right? So for Spotify, I chose music as the one that I was pumping Spotify through because it's music. So if I wanna bring in only Spotify, this is just an example. You can bring in any other type of input into OBS. Check this out. It's so incredibly simple to just bring in only that source here in OBS. Go into Sources, then click not Audio Input Capture, but Audio Output Capture. Once you click that, you can name it whatever that source is. So I'm going to call it Spotify. You name it whatever yours is in Google Chrome, you know, Cyberpunk 2077, PowerPoint, whatever it is, you hit OK, and then check this out. It's going to bring every one of the different types of inputs you just saw, remember, over in the Wavelink software that you can assign these things to. It's going to bring all of them in. My Spotify, I assigned to my Wavelink music. So I'm going to select that here, and I'm going to hit OK, and check this out. Isn't that sick? Now, my Spotify is being pulled in directly into OBS, only Spotify. Notice when I'm talking, my volume levels are not popping right there. It's not pulling in my mic. It's not pulling in any other source here that would be added in Wavelink software. It's only pulling in Spotify because I added Spotify as an audio input here. I chose music as my audio input. I routed it in my system audio, and then it only pulls that into this audio mixer just that source. It makes it so simple to route individual sources into OBS just at a couple clicks of a button, which is absolutely fantastic. This is flexible and works for every type of audio source you could ever have on your computer. And this is why I recommend the Elgato Wave 3 to my clients is because it makes it simple. One more time, if you're wondering, hold on, how did he get all the way to this step? I don't understand. He skipped so many steps. I've got a whole series of videos going over how to install the Wavelink software, how to add each one of these types of inputs, all the best settings, all the prerequisites to reach this step are all on the channel. So go watch those first, and then, then you can just link each one of these sources into OBS and have ultimate control over every single source that your audience is listening to. Enjoy your Ogato Wave 3, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.